Hi, dear friends. My name is Injad Kuliv and I am an IELTS instructor. Today, we'll talk about talking about probabilities in writing test one. It's very important to use some interesting and important phrases when we talk about future um, in different charts, maps. And that's why um, let me present you some important vocabulary for this. Um, the first one is it will rise to 45 million in 2025. Uh, you can see that we use will to show that it, this will happen in the future. It's the most basic one, you know this. It's future simple. Uh, you can also use future perfect or future perfect continuous, of course, mostly future perfect. Uh, and how to use it, when to use it, I will talk about this in the next video. So. Um, for the second one, you can see it's expected that, it's projected that, it's likely that, it's probable that, it's forecast, forecasted that X will rise. So the USA will uh, experience a rise, uh, let's say, in sales figures or sales figures in the USA will rise. So we can say in different ways. The key phrase, the key moment is this one. You can actually use this phrase in different charts and in the map. For example, when there is a plant, uh, let's say improvement of, of an area, some specific area that is being shown to you during the, during the exam. So you can use this as well. For example, you can say uh, it's expected that the area will become, will turn to an urban, let's say, place. Okay. Let's look at the third one. X is likely, or X is expected to rise to 45 million. Well, compared with the, first, with the second phrase uh, here, uh, we don't use it is. We just put it here directly. And we, we can start a sentence like this. Sales so figures are likely to rise to 45 million. Let's say sales figures in the USA and the UK, let's say, uh, are expected to rise, are, expect, are likely to rise to 45 million, uh, let's say, in 2025. Uh, and the last one, um, it's more about overviews, but you can also use this phrase in your paragraphs, by the paragraphs. Let's say uh, the chart predicts that um, X will rise to 45 million. Well, uh, the phrase, the chart is used because we refer to the graph, the chart that we, let's say, we see on the exam. That's why it's a very good phrase for you uh, uh, while, let's say, showing the examiner that what happens on the chart and what you can see from the chart. So um, I showed the example. Um, using some figures, but as I mentioned in the beginning of my video, you can use this phrase in the map of task one uh, when you talk about the predicted or projected improvements of the area that you are going to discuss. So you need to know how to use these phrases and you need to know how to create sentences. I believe that this lesson was very useful for you. Press like, comment if you have questions. Uh, don't be afraid to ask your questions, even if they sound basic, simple, primitive, doesn't matter. Ask your questions whenever you have. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this video. See you. Good luck. Bye.